So, um, the other week, um, for those of you who were there, uh, during the actual stream, uh, I did have a frustrating time, but the other thing, uh, oh, I just realized I gotta open up the map and everything. Big oopsie. I'm more unprepared than I expected. Not to worry. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, Ellie, is that you did that right when I was talking, so you failed to scare me there. Now, I wasn't trying to scare you. I just feel very satisfied that I was able to be the one to jump scare someone with money for once. Oh. <laughs> Give me twenty dollars! Give me twenty dollars! <laughs> I had to do that meme. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow, Jesse, I didn't know you were trying more to be bliss. Uh, <laughs> you didn't hear me, okay? And I'm sorry, but that meme has been stuck in me since Keyframe mentioned $20. <laughs> but the, give me the co literally cosplay as Slender Man and I'll be doing that give me $20 joke. <laughs> You're ripping off lightning bliss. Don't be jacking my shit too. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. That is the most hilarious way for me to start like a legit stream. Thank you. Thank oh. you very much. Light hey, hey, Lightning Bliss, if you're watching this, you have an you now have two competitors. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you very much! I'm here Please, to I will never consider Lightning Bliss a competitor to me. No, oh but God, you can be- Ellie. You know what? You know what? You can be a competitor to Solar. His fucking jump scare was epic. That is true! <laughs> oh. I, don't know how, how, I don't know how he fucking does that shit, but whatever. Well, okay, part of the thing that- uh, part of an ad uh, There is an advantage that happens uh, during um, you know, uh, when I'm streaming. Is that normally whenever um, you know you join a call, you know you get a sound notification, you know, doo -dee, yeah. doo -doo. those sounds are turned off when you're streaming, so you don't know who jumps in the call or not. It's true. <laughs> 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 That's how both Solar Bliss and of course Ellie had the advantage of scaring the shit biscuit out of me. <laughs> Now, I wasn't trying to do a jump scare, Golden. I was just doing that because it was funny. You were you were uh, jumping in with a bang. You were entering the call with a bang. Exactly. That's something Bliss <laughs> does. Uh, only I don't do it to try to scare you. <laughs> yeah, it's either kaboom or she plays a clip from a movie, which never works at all. We come for your daughter, Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Beetlejuice, Jurassic Park. Twice, actually. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, I she remember. Did that twice. Yeah, the first time was um, was uh, the T Rex, and the other one was the Velociraptor. I'm just like, that did not scare me at all, Bliss. I could tell that's from a fucking clip. Why do I have to be right all the time? I Bliss. <laughs> <laughs> that was you. I'm in a giggly mood today. I think I Are you really? I You're always tell. in a giggly mood. The sky is blue and the grass is green. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'd hey, I'd rather be giggly than freaking cranky, because believe you me, almost everybody in my house is. So you'd almost. rather okay, so you'd rather be cranky than be emo. <laughs> I feel like I missed something. No, because, okay, there's the giggly, okay, so there's the giggly bitch by nature, there's the grumpy grandpa, and then there's, how could this happen to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Good God, Golden. I must admit, oh. I actually do enjoy some uh, music from certain emo bands, or bands that are classified as emo, but even then, you know, the big Crawling in my No, that's not emo. God dang. I know, but no, people classify that. it as. They, they use it as a stereotype. Again. God damn it. 
Gosh darn, you were, okay, Ellie, I had to move my headsets away from my ears because it was loud. God. Sorry, I didn't That's the idea. Them. Oh, you shut up with that, Colden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a feeling we're going to have so much fun when we go to Bronicon. Oh, I, I sure uh... hope so, too. You know? Oh, Lordy. Speaking of um, stuff involving BronyCon, the presents that I have planned that I am working on, I finished Ellie's little wedding gift. And it's for both her and her soon-to-be hubby, which I'm excited Yay! about. I, I, I think you're going to love it, because I had to like put some thought into this. And I look around, I need to find some proper stuff oh, to God fit for it. both her and a charky is going to be a little bit tricky, but I think I got so At least I'm not a tricky fox. <laughs> Fucking god damn it. <laughs> you know, Ellie, you're once again one to talk when you say you fucking can't stand puns, and here you go making one yourself. I know! I know! I know! I'm a fucking hypocrite! But it's so fucking easy! <laughs> Ellie, you're lucky I don't mind puns! <laughs> No, it's it's the funny the funniest thing is when I make them in front of Josh, cause he oh, hates puns. God, yes. He hates puns even more than I do, but he doesn't make them because unlike me, he's not he's not completely sunk in the hypocrite pool. So um, when I do make puns around him, he has the worst <laughs> reaction, cause he he knows that I don't like them, cause I will groan at the same shit he will, but then I'll make a pun and he'll be like. So he basically is Jennifer and Daniel thank you for hosting. Ooh, hosting. I am not a fucking queen. You said it. The fuck was that? Mr. Gross called me a pun queen. Basically, Ellie, you turn Josh into Papyrus. Pretty much. I, the great Papyrus, cannot stand puns. Yeah. Okay, a fun, okay, funny thing, I have to agree with some people when they try to envision what he sounds like. He does remind me of, uh, forget the villain from He-Man. What's the villain from he Skeletor. Skeletor. Thank you. Yes, the way he talks, I do see that too. I'm like, God, that fits so well for the well, character. <laughs> has there been any legit, like, like, okay, aside from fan content of Undertale, has there been, like, anything that was approved by Toby Fox about how fucking, um... Papyrus talks, or how Sans talks. No. Yeah, it, it's it's mostly no. from the general audience's perspective. A moment. Yeah. By the way, like Sam, you've been working, you've been on break for three hours. Guess what I got? I'm not gonna say it. Come on. Eh? We don't have a trombone. That's what you're trying. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no, but I can be. <laughs> Ever... Okay, I'm gonna get teased about this all night. <laughs> yeah, you probably will. All right. No, well, I'm probably more. I'm worse. probably more. Okay, honestly, I think I'm more sand than Ellie is because I don't cringe at my own puns. <laughs> Isn't that the point of a pun? Just to cringe at your own stupid shit? No. Some you... people just genuinely like them. Like sand. God uh, damn it. Uh, because yeah, kind of like know... that. Because he just knows, because he just likes to tickle his funny bone. <laughs> I think, the, I think the most hilarious puns are when they're like more unintentional. Yeah, I Damn, do that sometimes myself. Oh, oh heavens. Are you, ha are, are you proud of yourself? Yes, oh, I I'll, am. I'll bet she is. <laughs> I am. <laughs> oh, get the fuck back over here. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it, Mystic Rose. I've heard far worse. Trust me. Oh, you ain't I think got shit have. on some of my friends. I I tell you <laughs> right now. Oh, lordy. Especially Luna Corva. Like fucking heal. He Luna Corva's a savage. Isn't he like, hang on a second. <laughs>
<laughs> Isn't he like just playing grumpy every fucking um, day? Who? Jay? Luna, Hardly. Luna no. Corva. Oh, the character, sure. But Luna Corva? Nah, he's a fucking teddy bear. <laughs> he's also a big ass. He, yep. Like what the um, Rojanel said. He's a masterful troll. Uh, he has it down to an art. And he's one of the few people that can keep up with me on the back and forth with like the snappy comebacks. Very true. I've checked you two both on Tumblr all the time. I know it's true. Oh, oh and uh, if you're wondering what I was laughing about earlier, Desert Seven I made a joke at for me. Are you serious or are you just Kieran? Uh, <laughs> am I just Kieran? <laughs> Is that supposed kidding. to be like a play on word of curious? No, kidding. Like kidding. Oh, well, it just doesn't seem to click. Finally, I, this bastard was a pair of Ellie is not, you know, Ellie is not on. A, a, not Ellie, Blissy! Ah! <laughs> that's, how, that's how frustrated I am right now. Guys, this is not Lightning Bliss. This is Jesse, the Kieran. <sighs> Here's a way to tell them apart. Um, aside from being a giggly bitch by nature. <laughs> Uh, Jesse's <laughs> voice has a higher, has a slightly higher pitch than Bliss does. And also, I don't mind being called cute. Yeah, not to mention, um, Bliss ha uh, has has a somewhat more uh, passive aggressive tone. She does. And, and if you listen, she does have a bit more of a southern drawl. Yeah. Wait, Bliss, he does? A little bit. Yeah, I can tell. I guess because of the fact I live in the same state, I don't really notice it right off the bat. <laughs> well, she... Eh. Eh, I don't know. It just, I can hear it a little, oh, little bit Samurai. more. Oh, Samurai. God damn, that's fucking savage. Oh, god damn! <laughs> fucking ow! <laughs> I left me too! Oh, god. Desert Samurai, you win the fucking internet. <laughs> He's not wrong, too, because in reality, I am flippin' tall. What? No, uh, Jesse oh is. <laughs> Hi, Keyframe! <laughs> that was Kichi. Oh! Kichi. Sorry, Kichi! Sorry, Kichi, I didn't know yeah, you were it's, there, it's, too! It's the, it's the floof... It's the floof mare. Hi! Hi, Keychain. Everybody <laughs> says hi to you. Hi, everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize her because, oh, okay. Be fair. I haven't seen her since Nightmare Night, so it was uh, kind of hard to recognize that voice when it, you could barely hear her. Uh, currently in the call is Ellie and um, Jesse. And Jesse, according to a lot of other people, uh, her voice is comparatively similar to Bliss's. Oh, she does sound similar to Bliss. There's no lie. Yeah, no doubt and it also doesn't help that they're both from Texas. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's not your fault. No, it's just fate. <laughs> Test and temptation. <clears throat> At least it's okay. an audio cue that makes people assume you're someone else. People confuse me and Kichi because we're both black women. Yeah. How the I can tell you two. I can it's tell so you two. It's so easy to tell apart. both of you apart because I know. you're a lot more energetic. <laughs> Your tones and voices also are very different. Like Ellie, yeah, actually I'm a ex lot more deeper. Deeper? I, I thought I was higher pitched because of all the squeaking I did. Yeah. Uh, Kichi when has you're a deeper hyper, voice. yes, it's very squeaky. But normally, you God don't have a very high pitched voice. What things get me mad a lot? Okay, are you talking sincere anger or my comedy anger? I mean, I yeah, think puns and burps difference. are like comedy anger, so you can take yeah. that with a pinch of salt. Mm, more like a spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of salt. So salty. <laughs> yep. Delicious. Well, not really. Blech. No thanks, but I am not the salty type. I can't handle oh. it. Much. Oh, hey, EG. Hey, how's it going? 
Oh, it's okay. Lando Kingo. Um, to answer, okay, to answer the for the comedy humor, every fucking thing under the sun. Ellie gets mad at everything. Good God. Um, she is. Uh, come on, Brett. Um, Golden Fox, tell tell us that that is. Tell us how accurate that is. Um, I think that's as accurate as my Hax rifle uh, aiming in TF2. <laughs> <laughs> I was so hesitant finishing off that oh. sentence. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. It took me a moment to read what Kenny was asking me. But now I get what he was trying to ask me. Okay, okay but, but for for what he also asked what gets me actually angry. Um legitimate anger is a lot harder to get out of me cuz actually by nature I always try to defuse a situation before I go off like a like a warhead. But if you do ma if you do manage to get me angry, it's because you hurt someone I care about. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> okay, and Kenny, to answer your question, what five things I like and don't like? Okay, this one I might have to think a little bit more, a little bit more on because I'm not a very picky person when it comes to stuff I like and don't like. But when it comes to stuff, I think the ones I know I can right at the top of my head that I know I do like, there are, um, I do enjoy anime. Yeet. Like, I mean, I'm an otaku. I can't help but to be. <laughs> You're, an otaku. You're an otaku. Taco? Otaku! Uh... That is horrible, E.T. <laughs> no, 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 um... no. Don't make a joke over that. They... <laughs> and um, when it comes to video games, there are a selected few video game series that I will never get tired of. Like adventure games, certain adventure games. Like the reason why I became a Zelda fanatic is because of that. <laughs> Yay! I'm looking forward to the also... remaster of Link's Awakening. And of course, the whole idea of why I enjoyed the Zelda series in general is because it's also fantasy, and I'm a huge sucker for fantasy. Yes! Who doesn't like fantasy? Right? From dragons! From, yeah, from the boy. Sea dragons Motherfucking to dragons. the playing of wood instruments. <laughs> uh, Chris <laughs> isn't the biggest fantasy fan. He's much more into cyber. <laughs> so he's sci-fi. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I don't uh, that, blame him with sci-fi. Fantasy versus sci-fi, babe. Well, isn't science fiction <laughs> like kind of fantasy in and of itself? More imagination. In a way, but they're kind of it... different genres. Well, they're definitely yeah. like, obviously they're easy to tell apart. Um, I'm not saying they're both the same thing, but it has fantasy elements by the imagination of whatever technology is invented in any fiction you write. Well, yeah, by that standard, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As for okay, um, I'm trying to think of. Uh, Ow! What uh, happened? None. I just okay. sat down a little hard. Oof. Um. Okay. Stuff. What other stuff do I do like? I think I took care of this. Laughing. <laughs> yeah. Touche. Touche. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like a good sense of humor, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. I could say a mean joke there, but I actually love my friends, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I could just hear you, like, saying to yourself, these are my friends, I love them very much. These are my friends, I love them very much. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of have to recite that on a daily basis with some people. You're giving me okay. ideas to draw that. <laughs> okay. Well, well said, Magical Star. Likes being a mommy, because I am a mother. That's the only thing that separates me from Blissey. I'm a mom. Yeah. Blissey's not even a parent yet. I don't know that she ever will be, but that's a, that's her call. Yep. If she wants to be a mom, cool on her. But if she's not, that's fine. Let's see. Um, I can't think of any more at the top of my head. As for stuff I don't like... Oh, that's right. I got the screw attack from facing this one. There, there are a few, only a few certain things that I really do not like. Like, people... If there are people who are legit jerks, 
like a certain few that I can think of right at the top of my head, but I'm not going to say it out loud because I'm going to avoid witch hunt. Because I know that's a thing. Not to mention it would draw a lot of, like, negative attention. Exactly. So, yeah. You mean we uh, don't want that on the internet? <laughs> Just get to the point, please. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we, uh, watch out! Savage Ale Eliora is in the house again. <laughs> so it's just Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. god, damn it. god um damn it. what are the stuff I don't like? Um that's... Okay, shockingly I don't have a lot of stuff I don't like that's not like lane to people. There are rarely a few things I don't like. That's one of these. Mm. Kenny, did you ask me something before? Because if you did, I missed it. <clears throat> We're getting questions <laughs> today. Yes, we are. What Pokemon type you like the most? Oh, um, Fairy. Mm, fairy, I'm Ghost, tied. and Psychic are my, fa are my favorites in that order. My, nice. favorites, my favorites will be Water and Dark. Ah, fuck! Ooh. No, no, no! So well, obviously, like I know which umbrella. starter you went with it. So well, obviously, I know which starter you went with, EG. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Uh, because you said because you said one of your favorite um types is water. I'm like, gee, I wonder why. Greninja is my all-time favorite starter. Yeah. It, it, yeah, it empowers <laughs> both water and dark. What? That's the one thing. I hate Greninja's shiny. Fighting Frodo? Eh, okay. shiny's not so bad, honestly. It's because it's solid black. Like, could you have been a little bit more creative with the colors, please? Let's see. Um, as for me, mine is a tie between electric types and dragon types. I'm gonna go ahead and... I like the design of all the... Dragon type Pokemon, but Electro types have always been a personal favorite because I'm an Electromaniac. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. And <laughs> Leo, do I'm you sorry, have any idea like? how many times I've heard that? <laughs> like it is ungodly. How many times I've heard you don't like Fire types that much? How ironic, or something like that. I'm like, shut up. Just Ellie is, Ellie may be feisty with the fiery personality, but that does not mean that's her element. It's really, uh, it's played up mostly for like, it's kind of for laughs, but at the same time, it's kind of the character where, you know, they're having, you know, something that's more anger driven. And whenever it comes to anything that's, yeah, like a lot of characters, including myself, work something with fire. It's very common. And it doesn't help that the first time a lot of people saw me was in my was in my collab with Silver where he gave me a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, Silver Quill's the one who about. gave Eliora her famous flamethrower. <laughs> he even said that in one of the episodes of, of the uh, Team Fortress 2 videos. Mm -hmm. That I regret ever giving her that thing. <laughs> no, but think about it. That means that single-handedly, Silver Quill is directly responsible for like ninety-five percent of the destruction that has reigned throughout the analysis community. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's a glutton for punishment. That's for sure. Oh <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement there. <laughs> so, but, uh, uh, what did I think of Corviknight from the Pokemon Direct? Lucid. Lucid? Lucid from my from the Dungeons and Dragons game that Josh runs that's be, that's posted over on Doc's channel. Welcome to the show. Ah. He's he's my character's familiar. And he's a raven and he's also one of the fa I believe one of the favorite characters of the series because my sass and the mm -hmm. lack of fucks that I have. Yeah. Guess where I channeled it? Because <laughs> my character is an elegant, elegant lady. She she has her rough edges, of course, 
she more embodies my um the positive aspects of my personality except for when she gets pissed and then she's just me but um yeah uh she's not at she has a sarcastic streak lucid the straight savage <laughs> Yeah, well, okay, my re for my take about what I saw for the new Pokemon uh, uh, from Pokemon Direct, Wheels, recently... get the fuck out. <laughs> what did Wheel say? Yeah. Like, it's a, you're fiery and you make puns. Oh my god, you're the fire... Jo 